Okay, well, Kasumi has two points to Viva's one, and, uh, and the other two players are not on the board yet, and Kasumi must fight Thilo now. Yep. I think Thilo's going to pick Tronk again against Geiger. Uh, these guys should really turn double blind back on. Maybe yeah. he's going to play BBB. Maybe he's going to play... I don't know. Like, aside from everything BBB's got, his own thing, his fancy, uh, his fancy whatnots. Like, Arg Argagarg has his own fancy game doing, like, two damage a turn, and having protective ward, and just biding his time, and slowly burning his opponent out. But his aces, their speed 0 0.2, they only do 16. The BBB has this game where he's turtling and poking his opponents out, but his aces do 21 for 2, and you can pump it if you really need more damage. But well, it looks so, like we were aside all wrong, from... because now we're seeing Zane. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right? So, we were all quite far from the truth here. Yeah. What I was just saying was, aside from BBB's regular game, he just has really strong aces. I think that's yeah. true. But he's also got Robo Headbutt at short range. <coughs> that's true. Which is just odd. Uh, it, it can allow him to threaten a lot of damage. He can do like 40 damage off a of Robo Headbutt. Yeah. So is this uh, is this common? I don't think I've seen the uh, Theo play Zane before. But like you were saying, he I can play. I have time. Yep. <laughs> he had to code <laughs> all these characters. <laughs> And he yeah. had to make a spiel about them, so he had to talk a little about their strategy, at least. Well, then. Oh. Yeah, that's the yeah. mix-up. We are seeing an early lead here. And Zane's getting good shenanigans. Last time he got a 7, and he had a jack in his hand. This time he gets another seven and a queen. He goes for seven damage attack as opposed to the throw. I guess yeah, it doesn't matter anyway because neither no, one. No, the throw does like six. Yeah, it's yeah the throw does less damage than Zane actually. Yeah. Yeah. And right. doesn't knock down. Yep, Zane throws do not knock down. Yep, they can but be they linked. are linkers. Yeah. Anytime you need to use a throw though, it eats up two combo points instead of one. That's one thing about Zane. His uh, his face cards only take one combo point, except for his king, which can't be comboed with. Yeah, so he's a little backwards. Yeah, uh, so it's like with four with four uh, with four combo points, he actually does a surprising amount of damage for a four combo point character. It is true. His cards, pretty much almost all of his cards have pretty high damage on them. And he's all he's generally always got a combo thanks to shenanigans and a lot of linkers. Like throw linkers and a queen linker. Yeah. And he's also got high damage normals. And here's another of his specialties, beating out Jax with two point three speed two attacks. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of special moves are 2.4 speed, and he has a 2.3 speed attack. <laughs> Let's see. It, it literally, he, literally a troll speed. <laughs> he got another good shenanigans. And he plays through. He gets the knockdown, but uh, Kasumi jokers through to avoid the damage. And now Kasumi's drawn a second ace. This is a good hand that, uh, that Geiger has here. Yes, this is a good hand to defend. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, Zane's only on five cards. I mean, he might have a Joker, but he does not. No. It's interesting that Thilo played Creator and Destroyer earlier this match as a dodge. I would think that's really good against Geiger. It He'd is. want to save that. But is it good against Kasumi style Geiger? This is See? the largest hand I've seen her have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just even playing rushdown Geiger, it's uh, it's like inferior to Zane. Zane's rushdown. And still building up too. Because Zane yeah. doesn't need to block, unlike most characters. Well, I mean, Zane can block, and it helps him, but he doesn't have to. 
have, so you're, uh, ne you're never going to be forcing Zane to block, and Yuri just dodges again with the creator and destroyer. Yep. Yeah, with shenanigans, I mean, he can just kind of dodge really confidently, even if he has nothing in his hand. Right, and here he gets the perfect shenanigans. Yep, crash bomb on the dodge. Yeah, now yeah. he can play creator and destroyer if he wants, but oh, dead. and he does. This is a pretty good creator and destroyer. Yep. Yeah. And now the really annoying thing is those go on the bottom of the deck, so you're not going to see them at all again until you manage to shuffle your deck. Yep. But I don't think Kasumi's played any aces, so anytime she powers up, it's going to be out of the deck, so she'll get a shuffle there. Yeah, and she does have a pair of sixes and a pair of sevens. Yeah. Kasumi playing the flash kick. I mean, with that many cards in hand, it's pretty likely she drew at least one king. The only question is, what is she going to play it? And she did. Yep. Of course, she has another one, which Thilo does not know. That's yep. That's true. But now... Tello is knocked down, so uh, she's not too incentivized to play the king. Oh wow, we're right at the top of your deck. Joker and ace. <laughs> right. That was interesting though, she only had two time spirals in the discard, and she had a few time spirals she could have played. But I guess she really likes R&D. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if that Joker's going to come in handy here. I mean, because even though Zane has no, uh... Oh! oh. Yeah. Zane's pretty incentivized to use these fast reversals. Because, obviously, you can't block odd attacks. Yep. Yeah. So, Kasumi dodges the reversal. Let's see what she's going to do. Just goes with the 10. That's pretty standard. Yep. Use the weakest throw. Get the knockdown. Loop the knockdown. Zane's hand is also pretty limited right now. Uh, yeah, you only three have queens. Three queens. Wow, three really? Queens. <laughs> three queens, and that's I it. I think no matter what he does, he's losing. <laughs> yeah, pretty <laughs> yeah. much. I don't think Queen really beats anyone's reasonable range against knockdown Zane. <laughs> I mean, um, I guess it beats five attacks in the event you don't have a three attack. I mean, it would be the grappler oh, if the grappler look, tried to mix up. But look at this, he's, he's like, it's true. he's verbally bluffing here, though. <laughs> what a mistake. Yeah, it's like, right. oh, <laughs> that Oops, was, that was totally up. a fluke, and I'm not going to do anything like that again <laughs> next turn. <laughs> Levi of course, you're pointing out that Levitating Zane is checking his mobile phone. <laughs> <laughs> it, his co his coat kind of does look like he flared out back and it's standing upright like as a stand he's just sort of like uh doing that thing what's it like planking or he's just <laughs> right planking <laughs> plank 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 I I'm just imagining Zane out in public actually planking as some kind of protest for anarchy or something <laughs> like down with flagstone Ooh, okay. what version was this? This, no, this Oh, that the was the, the time stop one. So she can get a time stop. Oh, yeah. Here. However, you still lost 20 damage. It's better than playing it and just losing. But Yeah, uh, the, the fast time spiral would have been better here, but I don't think Kasumi can reasonably know that, because only we know how god-awful the Zane hand is right now. Yeah, only we know he doesn't have a 2. <laughs> But the only thing that the only thing that Time Spiral Hurricane beats that Fast Time Spiral doesn't is the two. Hmm. But, but uh, she really she did that. lose her Fast Time Spiral to a two earlier in this yes. match, so yeah. it's so, probably I mean, it, it happens. It's, it's one of those things that traumatizes you. Right. <laughs> so she's playing it safe. So this is uh, quite a bit of a lead at this point in both health and cards. And there is the two. It now he gets the two, drew, yeah. drew to turn <laughs> two later or something. That is pretty funny, honestly. 
Well, yeah. More R and D kind of thing. Like if she had played the Jack and it lost to a two, she probably would have been like kicking her though. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. Uh, did she keep the order exactly the same? Uh, I, I didn't check. So. I didn't think I saw any cards move around. Yeah, and there we go with that. Oh, Again! More twos. Wow. That, uh... Twos all day. Well, she plays, even though Zane doesn't have much in hand, and Zane gets a terrible shenanigans. The first first bad shenanigans in this game. But, uh... Oh. Ironically, <laughs> this is the one where Kasumi played her Joker. So maybe this is actually a good shit. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Some, sometimes, not, not, ironically, is probably the wrong word. I think the word is uh, serendipitously. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately for Kasumi, but uh, I mean, like Thilo made the game serendipitous for Tello, right? You think the, he's hacking? Yeah. Thilo, <laughs> Thilo, Thilo's altering the database, or just like the game itself is on his side. <laughs> like it knows there's oh, a Joker. Yeah doesn't even have to alter the database, he just <laughs> already coded this in. <laughs> That's what the orange star means, it means you get more luck. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what cards you get though, if you can't win combat, you can't win the game. I, I can sort of see it, like uh, he's sitting with like uh, dual monitors, like writing sequel statements as he goes on one side. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Tello gets rid of another queen. Has his, uh, his face down. So, uh, Kasu Kasumi ran out of time there, actually. Like, she didn't combo, but she also ran out of time. Yep, and it's still, uh, still an issue. Right. Whereas Tello still has all its bars. I don't know if that, that Japanese train internet, or, uh, <laughs> or she's just playing slowly. And uh, Zane again asserting his uh, normal speed dominance here. Ooh, loses loses some stuff there though. Ooh. But again, another lame shenanigans. He does not have an ace in hand. Otherwise, it might have been a little less lame. Cryface. Yeah. He does have a jack though, so there you go. <laughs> and because Zane still has a queen in hand. Oh no, he doesn't have a normal. Oh, now he does. He draws a nine. A nine. So, nine. uh... Real Zane, good. Zane can win this turn with the right shenanigans. The nine attack hits, he draws the right card off the normal attack, and he gets the right shenanigans, like the last queen or the last jack. And, uh, he could just win here. Yep. Off, off a three card hand. <laughs> Which would be impressive. Well, Kasumi doesn't luck. have any blocks, it looks like. Yeah, Go, goes so, for the time uh, spiral, and it is going to get outsped because of uh, Hades. So Zane drew his last Joker, so he's not going to win this turn. And Shenanigans didn't really back him up either. But he's got no occasion in Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. It's not game winning, though. No. I mean, it does bring Kasumi in within lethal of... Pretty much anything, except well, except for those throws exactly. that do six damage, unfortunately. <laughs> but I mean, a shenanigans will oh, cover the size. Sumi said she forgot that it was speed 1.0, but maybe that's a bluff on her part too. Could to be. Not not say that she had had uh, no blocks. Right. <laughs> maybe she's just uh, thinking ahead, and now bluffing she for the aces. next games. So the double aces are gonna be pretty scary. Seven throws. Uh, that's, yeah, that's she a was. Bomb to the face. She was actually drawing dead to this crash bomb here. There's nothing she could have done to beat it. Yeah, not even double aces. Yep, even double aces would have lost. <laughs>